What's going on, everybody? I hope everybody had a great weekend. Yeah, I know it's Monday, but let's talk about the Poncho Sanchez Tumbao. Poncho Sanchez. Man, do I credit this guy for so much that I learned, um, especially when it comes to mambo, when it comes to Latin jazz. This guy actually... Um, kind of brought me into reality. Quick little story, when I first really started playing conga seriously, the only guy that I saw, the only guy that I looked up, the only guy that I looked into his videos and and wanted to emulate and wanted to study and wanted to do the exact same thing was Giovanni Hidalgo. And to be honest, I think a lot of us that first started saw this guy and probably would like ah. I want to do like his tricks and I want to do all of his little things right there and uh, I want to go fast and do all that yeah. Th that's what I wanted to do I swore by Giovanni Hidalgo I, I thought nothing nobody could be better I thought nobody could play like him but I remember one time I was listening to a CD that I bought and it's called uh, the colors of Latin jazz from samba to bomba and in this album, there's a song called La Familia by Poncho Sanchez. Now, this song released in 1986. And this song has to be one of my favorite songs, period. Uh, the dynamic, how this song goes and, and, and how it flows and how he played and how the band follows. And I, I swore by this. I love this song. And... I thought it was like the saxophone player. I didn't know who Poncho Sanchez was. Again, I was brand new at this. I didn't know anything. And I come to find out and I see a guy with the best beard ever in the world, taped up fingers, playing. It brought something, uh, another dynamic in the way I played. And, and I, I had to, at that point, I took a step back and I realized, man, Giovanni Hidalgo, with all due respect, has maybe one part to offer when it comes to conga playing but there were so many others that i did not know about and i started to really listen to poncho sanchez in this particular song there's a part in the in the saxophone section that blew me away <laughs> When I heard him do that, when I heard him play this little section and this little piece of tumbao, it, I don't know, it, it, it made me fall in love with congas again. I was passionate, but it made me realize that you could do so much with just two drums. Now, for those that follow Poncho Sanchez, people know that he plays, he plays three drums. But for this recording, he only used two drums. So I really don't need this one. So if you listen to that section, um, he does a variation of things somewhat like what Patato does. But um, he does accents here on his main drum that really kind of... It added a different layer um, to the saxophone solo at that time. And to show you what I'm talking about, this is what he did. And for those that know, that last um, is what the bongo player does normally. When it's just the congas, bongos, and timbal on the cascara. So to break down what he did, um, he enters this tumbao with an open. Then he does two open slaps. Then does two opens to his tumba. And then does an open slap with his left hand and two open tones with his right and then finishes it off with two open slaps, like right left. So to kind of break everything down without any little accents in between, it's this.
Now, naturally, your hand is going to accent a little bit and it's going to ghost note in between your open slaps. So to show you what I'm talking about, it's this. The reason this added so much value to my playing um, was because it, it kind of changed the normal It, it added a different um, flavor, a different axe, a different feel. And for Poncho Sanchez to do this in 1986 and doing it in the middle of a saxophone solo only speaks volumes to uh, what this guy was all about, especially at this time. And if you get a chance, listen to that conga solo in that, oh, oh my gosh. Like, talk about somebody talking when they're playing. I mean... Man, like he, he, the way he expressed his close slaps, everything that he was doing, beautiful. But we're not talking about his solo. We're talking about the dumbao he used. So to kind of recap, he starts it off with one open tone, then two open slaps, then two open tones onto your right, then an open slap with your left hand, uh, two open tones with your right hand, and then to finish it off, two open tones with... Um, starting with your right and then to your left. Alright guys, I hope this helped a little bit. Just wanted to share a little bit what um, helped me and influenced me and uh, my certain, the tumbaos that I use. So I hope this did benefit somebody. Y'all already know, like, subscribe, and if you want, you can hit the little bell thingy that's right here. If you want to know every time I upload, that may help. Alright, you guys have a great day.